Hello again. Today we're going to look at photos and screenshots and backgrounds. They're all kind of related together, so it makes sense to sort of bung them all in. Um, I'll try to move around different machines um, so that you get an idea of how to do it on different things as much as I can do. But for the moment, I want to show you something uh, quite interesting that came up on my phone. And this sort of relates to when we were talking about um, scams and things the other week. Uh, so you're now looking at my phone. Um, and what I want to show you was this message that came in. So it's this message here. It says Royal Mail, okay. And let's, let's go into it. So your package has £2.99 unpaid postage fee to pay this now. And it's got a link you're supposed to click on or your package will be returned to sender. So there's a good threat there. <laughs> 2 dollars doesn't seem that much, so maybe I might go for it. But even though it was first thing in the morning, because it was quarter to four in the morning that this came through, uh, I kind of thought, wait a minute, why is it that number? And I wasn't really expecting anything. So um, what I did was I went onto the Royal Mail uh, website and looked for scams and there it was it's a scam and what royal mail said is that they never would ask you to click on a link and pay something like that they would normally leave a gray um card at your house so uh, interestingly if we come back a little bit come down i'll show you um this is an actual text from the actual royal mail here um so if i click on it i'll show you it it says uh, your parcel from Hush is due today between blah, 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 not going to be in, track it. Now, this is the real one. It's coming up as Royal Mail here. And uh, it's also telling me where the parcel's from. Yeah, so they're saying your parcel from Hush. And I was expecting it. So I was like, all oh, right, okay. Um, so it's interesting, really, isn't it? It's interesting how they trick you. Because like I say, that number, that's what gives it away for me. And also it's a bit strange, you know, the having to pay money to get your parcels, not usually the case. I could always have gone along to the office and talked to them at Katie Brewster or whatever uh, to find out. Um, but yeah, any doubts, don't be clicking any links. Um, but like I say, there's your giveaway. Now, if there was something where the Royal Mail were saying, could you take a screenshot, please, um, so that we can, um, you know, report it, then there's a way to do that with... Uh, my phone. So basically I've got an iPhone and how to do it is I hold, there's a big button on the on the right that you're you're looking at on the right but yeah so here um, and it's the volume up yeah so you've got volume up and volume down so when you press volume up and this button on the side at the same time then what it does is it takes a screenshot so there you go and it's put it in the corner of the screen there. So that's it, just done it. So I've got a little photograph there. Now it's zoomed away off, <laughs> it's gone off somewhere. So what I can do is I come out of there and go into my uh, photos. When I go into photos, there's my screenshot, yeah? So there's my screenshot, I can send it to someone. And I've got options down the bottom here, which you can't see. It's got that, it's like a box with a little arrow pointing up and I can click onto that and then I can uh, send it to someone. So but it's not giving me the option, it's not letting you see that. So I'll just stop sharing that for the moment. But that's how you do a screenshot. I mean, it, obviously, I think a Samsung, you have to you swipe across and hold, and then you'll see it going or it'll make a noise. So you'll know that it's taken a screenshot. But if you're not sure, then you could type in how to take a screenshot on a, you know, it's a handy thing to be able to do if somebody, if you want to show somebody your screen, or if you want to, there's a funny thing on maybe Twitter or something like that, where you want to, rather than forwarding it to someone, you want to just take a picture of it because you think it's really great and then send it on to someone. Or if somebody was sending you abusive texts or whatever, and you want to send it to the police or something like that. So it's, it is quite useful. Um, to do. Um, so uh, let's do another little share with you and I'll show you something else. Um, let's go for the, I'm gonna, gonna go for the iPad this time. So share that with you. And it's not my iPad, it's actually my partner's iPad. So I'm very lucky he's letting me have a shot of it. <laughs> so we're looking at his uh, iPad screen now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a well, will I take a screenshot? Well, since we're on the subject, um, I could maybe do a screenshot then. So 
what, what am I going to do a screenshot of? Okay, so I'll go into, I'm going to go into Safari here. Yes, yeah? so I'm going to go into there. And this was me looking up how to take a screenshot on an iPad. So this is the instructions for a modern iPad. And you can see it's, they're pointing at the buttons there. I'm going to take a shot of this as if I was going to send it to somebody. Now, this is an old style iPad but with a button on it. So it's different. So how you take a screenshot with it is you... Um, click the top and the home button at the same time. Now, what you don't want to do is click the top first because that'll just switch it off. <laughs> so you need to go both at the same time. So you need to go and it went cheek. And there's my thing there. If I click on it, um, then it'll open up. And I've got, the, I mean, I could have just waited it all zipped off and then got it out of the, um, the photos. But there it is, but I can do something with it if I want. I could write something on it. I mean, I don't think, I can't think of anything I want to write on it, but um, I could just, uh, no, I don't think I want to write anything on it. But I'm just thinking if I could, I could go, yes. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't really want to do that. So, um, but if I wanted to, I could either uh, send it to someone. So I've got this at the top here. So that's what I was talking about, the box with the arrow coming out of it. <laughs> now this would be maybe just say share, or it would be something like this or whatever, on, depending on what kind of machine you've got. But on this one, then I can share it. So I can click onto there. And then I've got the options coming up here where I can I can send it in an email, I could send it in a message. If I had WhatsApp, I could do that. I could put it on Twitter, you know, whatever I wanted to do with it, yeah, or just keep it. Um, but otherwise, um, what I can do is I can just press done and then that will go into my um, photos if I want or into files so I can go save to photos and that, then it's in the photos. And then what I can do is if I want to go into photos and then I can again select it and then I've got that option again to send it to someone or do something with it. So I can click on that and then the options all come up and I can do that. Cool, so um, what else do I want to do? Well, why don't I take a selfie? <laughs> so this is what the camera looks like. And it's, it's pretty much the same on most machines. It looks like a camera or it looks like a sort of aperture or something. So I can click onto that and then I can turn it round. So you see this button here? This is the one that makes it face me instead of facing the computer. So click that and now it's looking at me. And there I am, and I can take a picture of myself with that big white button, uh, or a video of myself. I don't want to do that just now, so I'll just go uh, boom. And I've taken a picture of myself, so let's have a look at it. Oh dear, that's horrible. Let's have another one. So um, I'll go back again, and I'll take another one. This time I'll try a bit harder <laughs> to look nice. Mm. It's getting more and more difficult to look nice. So let's have a look. Uh, it's a bit better, but well, that one's horrible, right? So I'm going to throw it in the bin. There's a little picture of a dustbin at the top. And I can just delete the photo. Um, yeah, that one will have to do. So I've got that. And then what I can do is at the top of the screen, it's, you can't see it, but I'll see if I can show you. At the top of the screen, you've got options. Let's see. Edit. See that one? There's a bin. I can throw it in the bin. Uh, and there's a edit. Yeah. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the edit button, edit, and then what I can do is I can improve this picture a bit. Not much, I mean obviously it's not a great picture, but what I can do is there's um, this button here, I can click onto that, and then you can see these things coming up. I can just scroll up and down like that, and then I can select a better looking picture. So I can make it look a little bit better at least. Vivid warm, vivid cool, so that's the nice. Quite like that. So basically, at the point which I just when I decide to press this done button is the point at which we're going to get that picture. This is when it's going to say it. But I think the vivid cool is quite good. So we'll go done. Okay. And now I have that as a photo and I can share it if I want to. I can send it to my friends or I can put it on Facebook or do whatever I want with it. So uh, that's how you do that. Um, do you, anything else I want to tell you? Well, let's have a look. Ah, yes, backgrounds. That's what I wanted to tell you about. So you see at the moment, it's a close-up of some material. Um, now, if I want to change the background, I want it to make it something else, basically, then in order to do that, I can uh, go into my uh, photos 
I don't want it to be that. That would be a really rubbish background, wouldn't it? Um, let's see, what can we have a picture of? So we can have a picture of me. Well, no, I don't want a picture of me. That would be rubbish, actually. So forget that idea. I know. Let's go back onto the internet again. And we'll go Aberdeen Beach. And um, let me see what says. I'm probably have to agree to that now. I'm going to go into images. And there's some lovely pictures, and that's a really nice one. So I'm going to just tap on it. And you see, I've got these different options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, hang on, try that again. Oh, things that happen when you're trying to compute these things. Here we go. So we go open in background. Add to reading list, copy, share, looks interesting, let's get share. Uh, save to Dropbox, copy, hmm, no, it doesn't seem to be that way, so how am I going to do it? Um, let's try that again, so I would like to open, download, Add to photos. I'm going to add it to my photos. I think that's going to be the easiest way. I was hoping for something it said set as wallpaper or something like that, but it wasn't having any of that. But you will find that on other tablets. So what I'll do now is I've saved it into my photos. So I can go into my photos now. Is that one of me again? There's the one of Aberdeen Beach. Lovely. Um, so what I want to do is there's a there's that box with the arrow at the top of the screen, which for some reason it's not showing you. I'm going to go into that. And I'm going to scroll down. So that's what I'm doing just now. Yeah. So I'm scrolling down the page. And I'm finding the one that says, um, what does it say? Use as wallpaper. Yeah. So it says use as wallpaper there. And the next thing you know, it's actually my wallpaper on my on my um, iPad. So there we go. So I've got the choice. I can either set it as the, so if I, if I want that, I press set. If I, um, if I don't want that, then I can cancel it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel it because it's not actually my machine. So I'll just cancel that and uh, get rid of that. Okay, no harm done. Because I might be quite annoyed if I get rid of his picture. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you on the, uh, oh, I'll show you on this machine while we're on this one. So let's have a look at the Mac. Um, okay, so this is my Mac, this is my desktop you're looking at. So um, I might want to, let's see, take a picture of myself. Let's do that. So in order to do that, I go down to the bottom of the screen to this thing called Photo Booth. So this is only if you've got a Mac, it's different on a, another machine. I'll show you that in a second. Um, so Photo Booth, it's there on the on the bottom of the screen. Um, I, I never, almost never use it, but it's there all the time. But if for some reason it's not there, then have a look in Launchpad and it's in there. Or have a look in Finder and it's in the Applications in Finder if that ever opens applications and it's there, yeah. So, but usually it's on the bottom here. So I open that up and there we have it. We've got, um, it's ready to take a picture of me. So I can just do that. Um, now there's one, some here from before. I'm just gonna get rid of them, I think. Oh yeah, that's not bad actually. I might compare it. This one, don't like, delete. That's an old one. Uh, yeah, so let's take a picture. So I've got this camera button here. So what are the effects? I actually don't know what the effects are. Oh, no, I don't like those. Uh, so no thanks. Um, take a picture. Now it's got a three, it's got a three second countdown. So here goes. Uh, oh, well, that's horrible. Uh, let's try another one. Maybe a little bit better. Let's have a look. Hmm. Hmm. I think maybe that one. They're all pretty horrid, actually. Um, we'll go for this one, though. So there we go. So I can, if I want to, what I can do is I can just uh, click on this button here, and then I can send it in an email, or I can uh, uh, add it into my photos. 
and do things with it. Uh, is there anything more I can do with it? Not really, no, it's all this all nonsense, don't want that. So let's have a look. Uh, I can airdrop it onto somebody else's Apple device if they happen to be nearby. Um, I can send it in a message and so on. But what I'll do is, if I want to edit it, I'll I have to add it to Photos. So I'll add it to my Photos. Boink, and Photos is so excited, it's jumped up and down with excitement. So we'll go in there and we'll get my photo. There it is. So um, I've got the photo now and I can edit it. So if I can click on edit and then I can do things with the light, I can change so it's dead center at the moment. I can make it a little bit, oh, that's disturbing. So I can change that. I didn't know why I'd want to do that, it's horrible. Um, but what most people do is use filters. So you can click on the filters and then you can just, same as I did with the, with the iPad, I can kind of choose a nicer color. So I look a bit better. That was dramatic, cool, I like before, but no, that's a bit weird now. That's vivid, just strange. I can make myself black and white. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I think vivid warm was quite nice. So what I can do is, I can press done when I want to do that. Uh, but let's have a look at other things I could do. I could crop the picture, probably a good idea, um, because there's an awful lot of it, isn't there? So I could just move it in a little bit. Um, like that. And uh, yeah, and then I could maybe adjust it a little bit more. There's things I could do. Now th there's retouch here, but I don't know how to use it. So I could, Retouch it somehow. Its size and things. Yeah, I just don't know how to do it. Seems awfully complicated. But I'm guessing you can get the hang of all these kind of things um, and and make your pictures look really nice. I think sometimes people using Macs and iPads and things actually use a different app to edit it, apart from just putting in a basic filter. So uh, basically, if I don't like, if I start doing weird stuff with it. Um, and I don't like what I've done, I can revert to the original as it takes me back. So that's it back to the original, not cropped and not adjusted. So I put my filters on, I'll just go with it warm. And then I can, anytime I'm finished, I can just go done. And that's it done. And so I've now got that picture all ready to go in my, uh, in my pictures. And what I could do with it if I wanted to, I don't want to, <laughs> is I could make it my background. Uh, on my uh, computer, I could go share and then set desktop picture. So I'll do that. And horror of horrors, I could end up, uh, oh, hang on, it hasn't worked. So let's try that again. So I'll go, mm -mm -mm. where was I? Yeah, this one. So right click, I right clicked on it to get the box, yeah? And I went share and then I went set desktop picture and left clicked. Is that how it working? It doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Oh well, I know another way to do that. So uh, another way to do that is I can right click and go change desktop background like this. And then I can go into folders and I can get it from there. But no, I should be able to do it from the, I'm, it's annoying me now. <laughs> I want to, I'm determined to do it like this. So if I go like that, okay. And then I go like this. And then I go set desktop picture. Yeah, that's it now. It, I don't know why I wasn't doing it from the right click. Um, I wasn't satisfied with that. But yeah, the horror of horrors, I've got to open my laptop and there's my face. Um, so I don't like that. So I'm gonna change that, uh, change desktop background. And um, I'm going to put it back to what it was, which was this nice uh, dynamic desktop. And I've got all sorts of different other ones I can choose if I want to. And I could have them sort of cycling through all these different ones. Or I could do all sorts of weird things. I could do, um, so I could do a screenshot. So this is interesting uh, on, a, on a Mac. Um, so what you need to do on a Mac is you need to go Command Shift 4. Yeah? So it's a bit complicated. But it's the command button, CMD button at the bottom of the, the screen, the shift key and number four. And then you get this sort of crosshairs come up. And then what you can do is just um, take a screenshot of whatever you want. So you can 
pick any part of it. As soon as I start, as soon as I click and hold and then drag, that's when it's going to, when I let go, it's going to take a picture. So I can go something like, if I just want a bit of it like this, so this bit. Okay, and then as soon as I let go, it's created a picture. And there's the picture. And then I can do stuff with it. I can send it to people. I can edit it. I could draw on it if I wanted to. So I could draw like a picture on it. It's not letting me do that. No, I seem to be grabbing hold of it. So let's see, yeah, there we go. And I could go, look, there's me, I'm there. Just if I was, maybe. Um, I am here, Let's turn it into an arrow for me, there you go. And uh, so that I can move it, I can say, no, 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 I'm here, I'm there, yeah. So, and then I could send it to someone, because there, that's what it is. Or maybe I want to do something like, I just want to sort of circle it, like go this bit here um, or something. I'd obviously have to learn how to do that a lot better. <laughs> so um, again, yeah, so if I want to send it, select that, do whatever. Now that's not the only way to, um, I'm not gonna save it, don't save. And I'm gonna throw it in the bin actually, I'm just gonna go in the bin with you. Um, but uh, you can do it with things, with documents and so on. So here's something open, I can go command, shift four and then I can just take a picture of flamingo point and then I could do all sorts of things as far as I could open my photos and um, I could just drag it in so if I go back there I just drag it in so clicking and holding and then just dragging it in yeah so there's two the same I did it earlier to see if I could do it <laughs> and what I could do with that if I wanted to is I could go uh, set the desktop picture. Yep. And then I've set the desktop picture as a flamingo. It's a bit blurred, but no, it's still quite interesting. Um, if I wanted to make it something uh, more interesting, so if I go and do that, uh, I could go Miles Davis. So it could be anything. I mean, it could be anything you like. It could be a place that you really like or whatever. It could be a person that you really like, somebody that inspires you. Um, so these pictures, Miles Davis pictures were really great, really well taken pictures. So maybe just I'm right clicking on that and I'm going to use it as my desktop picture. So when I come away, there it is. I need to have a bit of a think. Hmm. But if I do, if I want to go back to the, the background I had before, then I can just go back in, click on that. Dynamic desktop. And the reason I like this one is because it's dynamic in the sense that it changes color over the day, which I quite like. Um, but yeah, at any point I could go back to these ones and I could have it cycling through them like a slideshow, which is lovely. But most people, if they're changing their picture, they have a picture of maybe their family or their dog or their cat or something like that. And it's all very lovely. Um, right, let's do a different share. And I think I've told you everything I want to tell you about this one. So I'll go back to sharing the um, iPad again. And I want to look at a Windows uh, type computer. So I can just share that with you. It just takes a little minute. That's it. And I'm going to go into the camera. And here we go. Whee! So here we are. This is our... Um, this is a Surface, that's what this one is. It's a Windows 10 computer. So if you want to take a picture of yourself, then what you're going to have to do is go into, uh, go into the Start button. Now that on a Chromebook would be the Launch button. And it's round, I think. And then you go into Camera. So you find the app, or you go into Apps and Camera. Yeah. So you open that, and then boom, the camera opens up. There it is. Now it's obviously a bit awkward because I'm looking through another device at it. And there's your big button for taking a picture. So you go and click onto it and it takes a photo. You can have a video as well if you prefer. Uh, but I'm going to go for a picture. Let's see if I can get myself in it. And uh, that seems to have worked. So let's have a look. Mm, where's my picture? There it is. So click onto it. And it's not great because obviously I'm looking at myself through a, an iPad, so it's not the best picture I've ever taken. Um, but, you know, it's all right. 
And what I can do is I can immediately share it if I want to, which I don't want to. If I did, I'd click on there, and then I'd have this connected up to my apps. There's, this is a work computer, so I don't have apps. So um, there's nothing for me to click on to here with the share. But I could share it in other ways. I could, um, and I'll show you that in a minute. But in the meantime, we've got this choice here to um, see all photos. But let's have a look at where you would find it. If I just close that off. So you've got your picture, you go into here, in the start button, or the launch button, and picture. See how I'm just coming along this very far left edge there. I'm just running up that there. I'm not holding it. I'm just skimming along like that. And then when I get to there, I'm going click, left click there. And then it opens up this, and it's the camera roll that we want. So if I can find the very awkward when I'm looking through a different machine. I double click on that and we've got that's the one that's the picture I just took which is a bit of a weird picture and uh, well let's come back and close that off close that and this is one I took earlier a la blue Peter so that we've got something and it's a bit weird as well because I was still kind of looking through a machine at the time um, but I've got that picture and then what I can do is I can go up to the top here and we've got edit and create and we've got share. So I can share the picture um, or I can edit and create. So I can draw on it if I want to. I can do all sorts of weird stuff and make a music video. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to edit it. And then we're getting all these choices that we got on the other ones. We've got filters. Um, and they're really good filters, these ones actually. I quite like these ones, they're quite, really quick to quick beauty. And you can do all sorts of stuff, usual kind of things. Uh, very nice. So, but what I liked about this one when I looked at it was uh, adjustments, right? There's this thing called, oh, I'm not read out, spot fix. Yeah? And what you can do is you can basically edit some of your bad bits away. So, I've never done this kind of stuff before. I can go click, 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 ha ha ha, I've rubbed out my wrinkles. So click, 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 click. Yeah, so I'm rubbing out click, 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 all my deep lines and everything, just pretend I'm young again. So that was fun, uh, but weird. Uh, it's not something I would particularly do, but uh, you know, who am I to judge? So, what I would do, I think, is undo all of that because I think that's a bit strange. Put my, put my wrinkles back. That's where they are. But if I wanted to do something, well, let's go back to the filters again. And I'll have maybe that pick of this. Quite uh, what I would do then is I'd save a copy. See at the bottom? Save a copy. So what it'll do is I'll still have the original photo, but then I'll have this other copy as well. Now, um, Oh, getting a sore hand holding this iPad. So if I come along here, what I'm going to do is close this off here. Yeah? So I'm going to close it. Notice it closes at the other side. And then we've got these again. So this one I don't really like, so I'm going to delete it. Now I can do that by right clicking on it and deleting it. But on this one, we've got this delete button up here. So I can just go delete. It's gone. And I've got my two different versions of my picture. Yeah? Now, like I said before, I don't have anything really connected to this machine. So what I can do, come along here, and just go close. And what I can do is I can just go into here. Um, oh no, that's not what I was gonna do. I'll open up my email and I will make a new email. Sorry about the wiggly wobbliness. And then I can use this paper clip to attach the picture. Now it's taken me straight to it. It's got, actually got them at the top there, but if I wasn't sure which one it was, I could come down here, browse this PC, and then I can go into here and I can choose which one I like. So that one, and I can go insert. And so now that picture's attached to the email and then I can just write in whoever it is and um, tell them what I want to tell them, yeah? So that is all well and good. So the only other thing I wanted to tell you, so I don't want to save the changes because I'm not actually going to do that, 
The only other thing I was going to tell you was how to do a, a screenshot. So on this machine, unfortunately, I, I can't hold this iPad and do a screenshot at the same time. So on this one, what you have to do is press, I think it's, I'm going to show you in a minute. But I think it's Windows button and so where is it? Yes, this one down here, uh, Windows button. I'm trying to find it. There it is, Windows button. And uh, this one that looks like a, where is it? Oh, no, that would be on a Chromebook. On this one, actually, it's Control and Print Screen. So there's Print Screen there. Um, so it's Control, that one there, and Print Screen. Uh, but like I say, you can find out. So this is a Microsoft Surface. If it was a Chromebook, then it would be the, the other weird thing I'm going to show you in a minute. So like I say, unfortunately, I, I have done this earlier, but I couldn't, uh, I can't hold this at the same time. So what I'll do is, and I'm in, going into the start button, into pictures. Um, there is another way I can get into there, by the way. So we'll just quickly show you that since I'm here. Uh, into this yellow folder at the bottom, same difference. Into pictures, camera roll, screenshots. Yeah. So what we want is screenshot, screenshots, and there it is. There's a screenshot that I took of the screen. Basically, it takes a picture of the whole screen. And what I can do with this is the same thing. So I've got this picture. Look, it's a picture of the screen. A bit confusing. Never mind. Um, edit and create. So I can do things like that, and I can draw on it. So again. I could do things like go over here, or this is the really important thing here, this thing. Yep. And then I could send it off to somebody using the um, share button or whatever. Yeah. So I'd finish that off, and that would be that. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to close that off as well, and I'll just unshare this. Stop the share. So yeah, that was the one, the last thing was the, I was trying to show you on the, um, on a Chromebook, it's control and then this button. I couldn't describe what it was. It's basically F5 and other computers, but it's a square with little lines along the side. So you could control in that and then it, it takes a, a picture of the whole screen. So like I say, very handy if there's something wrong with your computer and it's coming up with a, an error message and you want to show it to somebody else. Um, so that's a bit of a strange, I mean, it was <laughs> quite difficult to move between the different uh, machines, but hopefully that's given you some ideas. Um, so what I'd like you to do, if you can, um, is if you haven't already, uh, take a selfie. Um, if you've got the kind of machine like a phone or an iPad or a tablet, you can take other pictures as well, see what they're like, see if you can set one of those as your background. Um, that's the one thing I wasn't, I, I forgot to show you on the, on the Windows computer, is you right click and go personalize. So it's exactly the same as I showed you with the set background. And you can do the same thing with uh, pictures. But uh, again, Google is your friend. Um, you can always go, how do you do this on a, you know, whatever machine it is. So try taking a picture, a selfie and editing it. You can always throw it in the bin, so there's no disgrace and you can do some funny things. I, I at one point I edited myself with, um, you know, two noses and three eyes and all that kind of stuff. Um, drew moustaches on myself and all sorts. <laughs> so um, have some fun with that, have a muck about, but see if you can change your background. It would be nice to have a different background on your machine so that it's something that means something to you, maybe your dog or, your family or something like that, or a place that you love, it cheers you up every time you see it. Uh, maybe a photo from the past, something like that. So um, as always, um, have fun. I've really enjoyed uh, these last uh, eight weeks, um, bringing you uh, hopefully some ideas of things that you can do. Uh, if you're feeling really ambitious this week, try seeing if you can take a screenshot and do something with that. Um, all the best. Bye.